Regional rivals Iran and Saudi Arabia have long jostled for dominance. Iran's population is majority Shia, while the Saudi kingdom sees itself as a leading Sunni power. With its Gulf allies, including the United Arab Emirates, Riyadh is pushing to extend its influence. And since the Islamic Revolution in Iran in 1979, Tehran has fought to gain power beyond its borders. The last few decades have offered Iran numerous opportunities. For example, following the 9-11 attacks when the Taliban regime was overturned, then the fall of Saddam Hussein and the development of ties with Iraq post-Saddam Hussein. Iran seized on all of these opportunities. The overturning of Saddam Hussein allowed Tehran to entrench its influence in Iraq, which had traditionally been the centre of Shia culture. Following the fall of Saddam Hussein, Iran helped fill the political vacuum by backing Shia Iraqi political proxies. Conflict in the country continued, and in 2006, al-Qaeda in Iraq was rebranded as the Islamic State Group in Iraq. By 2014, the jihadist organization had captured extensive territory in Iraq and neighboring Syria, a country riven by civil war since 2011. Again, Iran stepped in, this time with military financing to help its ally Bashar al-Assad, a fellow Shia who follows the Anawite branch of Islam. Tehran was keen to make itself indispensable to the Syrian head of state and keep the so-called Islamic State group away from its borders. Generally speaking, the Iranian army doesn't directly intervene in conflicts. That's the subtlety of their strategy. They develop affiliated militia, whether that's in Syria or Iraq or Yemen with the Houthis. Their influence is considerable and can either be a stabilizing or an undermining influence. Fighting broke out in Yemen in 2014, when the Iran-backed Houthi rebel movement seized large sections of the country, and escalated in 2015, when a Saudi-led coalition, including the United Arab Emirates, began airstrikes against the rebels. What started as a civil war has developed into a proxy conflict, as Iran and Saudi Arabia vie for control of the region.